All right, kiddos, sorry, I got a phone call and that actually cuts off my taping. Um, so I just have to have the second video to go over. One more thing uh, was the, the where the stems go. If the circle part of the note is below the third line, the stems go up and on the right, just like this. If the circle part of the note, like this one here on the third line up, is on the third line or above, the stem goes down and on the left, as you see with these four, five notes right here. And then this one too, because it went up to the third line. So this one is a perfect example. You have up and on the right here, I mean, down and on the left here, because it's on the third line up. Then because it's in the second space up, it's up and on the right. You're back to the third line up, so it's down and on the left. And then because it's below the third line, this one is up on the right. So this, this measure right here is a perfect example of knowing whether the notes go, whether the lines go down and on the left or up on the right. All right, and I will have all of these um, rules on the paper when you take the exam, uh, when you write your melody. So you should be able to do this, but I will have kids that will draw a note here and then draw a note up here and then draw another note here and then draw a bar line. No, you have to make sure you follow all the rules. Now I'm gonna make this fun um, for the virtual kids. I'm gonna have you make a comment if you want the note to go up or down or stay the same. And every time somebody says that, I'll draw the next note on here and I'll put a picture of it on the Google Classroom. And then, so anytime anybody says, up until the, so there's 11 more notes that go here, um, every and then the two bar lines, every time, and after four notes, somebody should say, draw a bar line, Mrs. Buckman. And I don't actually, I don't mind if it's virtual kids or in-school kids that can tell me this. You can say, all right, I'd like the next note to go up. So I'll, I'll do that and then I'll put a picture up. And then somebody says, I'd like the next note to go up. I'll draw that and then draw a picture of it so that you can do it. So we can write a song between the virtual kids and the on school kids. If you're in school, the, um, the either I will help you um, ask people for up or down you know, or stay the same. Or um, if, if another, if a substitute is there, the teacher will ask you and we'll actually draw this on the board. Um, up in front on the five lines that are on the whiteboard up in front of the classroom. All right, I hope you have fun. And remember, in the Google Classroom, you're going to tell me up, down, stay the same. Make sure after four notes, somebody says draw a bar line. And then at the very end, says to draw two bar lines. And at the very end, says make sure you end on the same G as the beginning. All right, so let's see if we can write a piece as a class, um, as both virtual and in-school kids. All right, hope you have fun. Bye-bye for now.